It's a playoff for the third spot in uh, the group, and um, that means that neither of the two teams can uh, qualify for the um, knockout stage and the quarterfinals. But here is um, how it's uh, happened uh, so far. Max Weisskirchen sprung a little surprise, in my opinion, defeating uh, Choma Junior Popov in um, convincing fashion. And uh, then uh, Mr. Popov. Um, defeating Samuel Shao. Now we turn our attention to the third man singles where I had a feeling that um, ahead of the match that was the match that Germany had the highest hopes for as uh, Fabian Roth is taking on Arnaud Macri from uh, France. So uh, here is the uh, 25 year old Fabian Roth has been uh, through a lot of hardship uh, the last uh, two, three years prior to the uh, current year. He hadn't played uh, an international tournament since 2018 because of um, recurring injuries. Now he's uh, fighting his way back into the uh, international uh, circuit. Here's his opponent, 21-year-old uh, Arno Merkli from uh, Staffelfelden, really close to, to uh, Mulhouse in the uh, Alsace-Wineland. Uh, Grew up in uh, Red Star Mulhouse. Local Batman's and Club. And, um, lots of uh, these spectators is uh, following a totally different match on court one between Denmark and uh, Korea. So uh, if the uh, applause is not necessarily uh, fitted to the action on the court that, that you're watching, then you know uh, the reason. Currently uh, Denmark in the driver's seat in uh, that match. So I couldn't really uh, Hear what um, our umpire Jakob Simberg was uh, saying, but um, it looked like um, Fabian Roth uh, won the coin toss and elected to uh, serve. I think at least um, he pointed to this near side of the court and I uh, think to the other 191 centimeters and uh, his ranking. Dropped down to 360. He didn't have any at all in the beginning of the year, but uh, before his injuries, he was as high as uh, 34, and amongst others, recorded a victory over Victor Axelsen in one of the uh, European mixed team matches. So definitely uh, a man that can uh, play, and uh, so can uh, this youngster here. They are exactly the same height, as you can see. That's approximately uh, six foot uh, three. He's gone um, one down from his uh, highest ever ranking. And uh, both players have been selected for the previous two matches. There is Jakob Sundberg, uh, Merkley. Beat uh, Kim Dong-hoon against Korea easily in straight games and lost just as easily to uh, Anas Antonsen against uh, Denmark. In Kutza, on the service judge. Um, Fabian Ward. He uh, also defeated Kim Dong Hun, but uh, in a tough three game match. And uh, then he uh, defeated um, Asmus Gimke, the number 12 in the world. The Dane that is designated to play the third single on the uh, Danish team. He was in second 
when they were playing Germany, and so was Fabian Roth, and he won in uh, a hard-fought match. But um, Ready in uh, two straight games, 21-19, 26-24. So uh, we could be in for a very, very good match here, I suspect. Both players had a day's um, rest. Since the last uh, match, so this is the last um, round of the uh, round robin group stage. It will only finish tomorrow in the morning session. There's two more matches. After those matches, the knockout draw is uh, conducted. Denmark has just uh, gone up 2-0 uh, against uh, Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Jason Korn, France, represented by Arnold Magli. And on my left, Germany, represented by Fabian Roth. Germany to serve. Level. Good. Forward to this match uh, since I saw the uh, lineup here. Been um, alert to uh, McLeish's uh, development uh, since his junior days, but uh, I haven't really uh, seen him uh, in a full senior match so far. Uh, It'll be interesting to see. Holtz game uh, because he plays in the club I'm coaching back in uh, Denmark uh, so there's a little disclaimer there for eventual biases so 34 shots seen the video from um, both playing Kim Dong-hoon and uh, perhaps also from uh, the match against Gemke and see that uh, the tank looked a little bit empty against Gemke. I don't think it would have um, been a threat in an eventual uh, decider there. Ward. I think uh, a string broke in uh, Maclay's racket on the last shot. Uh, two shots. It's basically one roll of uh, multi shuttle in practice. If it's what you can uh, hold on your arm, approximately. Uh, between 16 to 22, 24 shuttles. One, three. Please welcome the technical officials, number one. Three. That's 
That's not the right grip that I was hit with. I was going to go way wide. And it uh, even come over. Shuttle struck uh, with some part of it uh, above 115 centimeters. Five, two. Well, I thought I can hold these two players that um, definitely not have any uh, advantage with this uh, new service rule. Tall players, they were the ones who suffered the most. Shot. Excellent shot by Arno Mercle. Arno, Sylvain, André, Mercle to be uh, precise. I think I was taking to uh, Arno Mercle. pressure on uh, the Frenchman. Clears there for Fabian Ward. A number of good clears to uh, gain initiative. Excellent shot by Fabian Roth, and also good coverage by McClee. That's really well played by uh, McClee. Good paced uh, drop shot there. A little reverse slice in it, but uh, not so... Uh, it becomes too slow. to get a few extra seconds of uh, break. It's 
It's landed in. And a challenge from uh, Fabian Ward. He's not um, of the same opinion as the umpire. And he's correct, uh, Fabian Ward. Good challenge. That's a fantastic defense from uh, Fabian Ward. Turns that very difficult situation into a direct winner. This is a um, player card. Stayed on uh, the German side. Good pressure. Got the initiative early in the rally and. Uh, Never gave uh, Fabian Ward a chance. It's gone wide. And Zano uh, will reach the uh, 11 point mark first. That means interval here in the uh, first game of uh, the third match in this overall tie, 11 8. So that's one each for the two players at the moment. Well placed shot. Uh, Fabian Ward there. Just to save. Body smash and then... Uh, and this was... Uh, Close to the sideline. I think that um, it's important that uh, yeah, it's important for both players to uh, control the front court. That is um, going to be decisive, in my opinion, uh, for this match. That looked a little bit uh, wide, but uh, a lucky net court and uh, another German point. Two nations have never met in um, a uh, 
Thomas Cup uh, final tournament. They haven't met either in uh, the European Men's Team Event Championship. And that's perhaps a little bit more surprising, but we have to remember that um, France is one of the um, newcomers. Perhaps they are the new newcomers because Germany was also one of the newcomers uh, in the late um, 90s, early 2000s. And then uh, France is really producing some uh, strong young talents at the moment. France has participated uh, three times previously in the uh, Thomas Cup Finals. Germany is making their tenth appearance here. Both teams has quarterfinal as uh, their best, but uh, that's not going to be emulated in uh, this year's uh, edition. Working hard um, at the moment. Fabian Roth, it seems like it um, a little bit easier on uh, the other side of the court for Anno Macle. George Ralph Jansen, it's over there. You see in action in the uh, first men's double. Good follow up. Played a little bit too high. I don't know, he knows it and he's not satisfied with himself. Oy. Nice deception by uh, Ward. No. A little bit of luck. Don't just walk off. With the net court. Jakob Sundberg telling Anna uh, McLeod not to just walk off court without asking him. Civilian life, so to speak. So, the advice to an old Berkeley is to not fall out with him. Initiative uh, freely, Fabian Ward, and I think that's uh, a good plan. Taking over the um, initiative. It's played on his terms. 
if um, the tension had crept in on uh, the French side of the court. one from uh, Nekti, not really committing to it, wanting to uh, get back and cover everything. Retrieval. Oi, oi, oi. What happened there? You okay? Bye, Josh. I think he hurt himself a little bit. Uh, hopefully not too serious, but... Um... Yes. Yes. He wanted to break... <laughs> I don't know if he didn't have the power to break uh, who was coming forward at high speed. Hopefully just um, the hit and the hurt. Testing the yeah, right leg there, a little lunge, and uh, five game points for uh, Fabian Ward. It's just gone wide. Good smash. I wonder if that um, crash landing at the net has uh, affected the uh, Fabian board. Two, two years with injuries. Trying to come back once, but uh, couldn't. Service for call, and that um, means first game to uh, Fabian Ward and uh, Germany. 21-17 on the second service for call on uh, Arno Mekli. One call on uh, Fabian Ward. First confirmation of this call so far. Yeah, it looked like he um, raised his left arm there on the back plate.
second game. Level play. So, second game underway, and uh, just to recap a little bit on the first game, I felt that uh, Maxi started out. Um, really well and uh, was in uh, control of uh, the major part of the rallies uh, then around um, the uh, mid-game interval or so things started to change and from 13-0 um, or 13-14 or so uh, Fabian Roth really um, he showed some commitment he got to some uh, really difficult shots on the front court and uh, insisted, so to speak, and uh, that helped him uh, gain control, coupled with really, really good uh, shot quality uh, towards the uh, business end of uh, the first game. shots in a row. Always a good plan against uh, tall players. A higher point of uh, gravity simply due to uh, their height. But uh, these two players are of equal height, so I think we use the uh, same formula once or twice in uh, this match. He's annoyed with himself, Fanon Mekti. He doesn't get to that uh, drop shot. He's uh, really having a serious work with his right leg and uh, suggesting that it starts moving. Smash by um, Anomati. We saw earlier in that rally uh, Fabian Ward almost crawling to that uh, forehand drop shot, but um, he got it over. And um, it can be frustrating to play an opponent where you almost won the rally, but then suddenly it's back level and you have to start all over again. Mentally, uh, Demanding. Two, five. That's well played. And he's um, looking towards his coach outside the picture. I'm actually sort of shaking his head as, a, as if he's saying, I, I don't know what to do. That one, Ward. So it seems like at the moment Fabian Ward is um, 
is able to uh, withstand the uh, attempts of initiative from uh, Anomak long enough to uh, get uh, the upper hand in the rallies through his um, deceptions and his uh, placements. Of course, uh, mistakes eventually uh, creeps in. We saw one in the backhand before, and now this attempted uh, cross net drop. Seems like he reads the game a little bit uh, better, uses his experience, even though he's been out for so long. But, um, will it hold up for the German? the last one there. Is that the first time signs of uh, some Six, fatigue? Turn. Eight, six. A different um, coach to the other two singles that were coached by your father to my Popov senior. It. That's what's keeping uh, McLean in the game at the moment. It's the uh, mistakes from uh, Wood. But um, as we can see, clearly the drop shots and the uh, shots to the front court is a part of, um, of his game plan. Eventually he got the right length and the right height on it, um, Fabian Ward. Twenty-one shots. One serve, nineteen clears and one block. It's a little saturated, but uh, there was a lot of clears there and uh, he managed to break out of it, I don't make clear. driver's seat in this uh, second game here there's been a couple of mistakes from his hand but otherwise he's been uh, totally uh, dominant okay. 
peur sur le dos, en retard, machin. Et lui, c'est ok. Tranquille. On va essayer de dégager. Ça marche Je sais pas, il défonce le centré. Il fait des fautes. On le recentre. Consequence and uh, put on a fresh t shirt for the rest of this match here. One point down and uh, needs to start scoring. Oh, you lucky net court for uh, Fabian Ward. Shots like that, that hurts a lot uh, mentally on your opponent because uh, he knew he was in trouble but uh, he almost uh, won the point anyway he hadn't stayed on the uh, German side now he didn't even get a chance to uh, attempt the return Deception on the drop shots from uh, Fabian Wood, and he's still capable of playing them quite close to the net. So uh, it takes an extra half step for the opponent to get to it. I don't think he can read it. Um, I don't know clear. Could just as well have been a clear or a smash. See what what my clay is trying to do. Play downwards again, but yeah, that's gone uh, wide again. It doesn't seem like uh, there's some overall uh, strategy. Top of the tape again on his uh, service return, Fabian Ward. That was not uh, unlucky. well played. Finally he uh, exploited that uh, Fabian Ward is late for that one. Excellent uh, attacking shot from uh, Arno Merkley. solution trying to attack a bit more if he can uh, get it above the tape I think we're gonna see more time to play the front court a bit more right very short uh, recovery shot from uh, Fabian Ward and immediately punished by uh, Anna McClee who is now Back within uh, striking distance. Three 
takes two points. Short clear. Missed it. And I think we are pretty much at the same place as two days ago when uh, Fabian Ruud was playing uh, Rasmus Gimke that um, was feeling uh, that uh, he's been out for quite some time and is not uh, necessarily used to these um, Long hard battles. Forty minutes played so far. Five consecutive points for Anu Mekli. And, uh, out of nowhere, he's uh, back in it. It was a uh, good cross match that started it all. And then uh, numerous um, mistakes from uh, Fabian Roll. So now all square. Good little flicker there. But. Uh, not the right uh, quality in uh, his shots. It's simply too fluctuating. Uh. For Arnimacle. Missed it. Is really going for uh, the winners at the moment. Playing sharp, perhaps even too sharp. Defense. Yeah, that's well played. And he's fired up now, Arno Mackley. Points has some um, Frenchman. That's full commitment from uh, Fabian Ward. Fabian, Fabian, stay on court. Swing by Coach. Sure. It's going wide. I don't think he can allow uh, Fabian Ward to have that much initiative. Um, and I'm actually got to uh, attack the front court and uh, some of the possibilities that's uh, given to him. Court. <laughs> he managed to get it a part of the way, Fabian Ward, but um, nicely put away by Anna uh, Mackley. It's not an easy shot, comes down almost vertically. Yeah. Full 
power towards the backhand. 19, uh, That's well played. He took that net shot so early on Omakte and uh, that was what uh, earned him the point in the end. So Big mistake. And uh, game point opportunity for Arnold Mackley. Another flicker. And a good save. And there it is. He's uh, come back from uh, a very, very troublesome position down 9 15, 7 14 in this second game. The youngsters come back and uh, equal the score. We are treated to a decider after the uh, interval between the uh, second and the third game. Second game to Reckley, 21 19. Saint Lacle said, um, Arnold Macle's uh, coach, and uh, I think that it means it, this is the key. Unfortunately, that was uh, the limit of my uh, knowledge of the French language, so I'm in the dark as what uh, he felt was uh, the key to uh, a win here against uh, Fabien Ward. I think the key is a battle for initiative. Not playing himself out of position like he uh, basically did there. Very difficult to get the correct uh, length on uh, that backhand shot there from uh, Mackley, and that uh, leaves it all open for a reward. Pace has gone up a little bit again, just like we saw in the first game. Landed well in, good clear from uh, Arnold Maxi.
I seem to like the idea from uh, Fabian Roth, but perhaps just play it straight and uh, sort of uh, stop the uh, initiative. I think that's gone long. It looked long to me. Fantastic uh, defense by Anu Merkli. And uh, yeah. right now he's getting one shot more back than uh, Fabian Ward is uh, comfortable with. Clever play by uh, Fabian Ward. And I feel that it's uh, costing on the uh, energy uh, scale, so to speak. So is error. Six, four. There's something wrong with that left uh, sock there. It keeps uh, falling down. I think he's a spent force. Fucking awards. Got away with it. A uh, couple of rallies ago, but um, this time called third forward during uh, this match. Panel man clip. Smash from uh, Anna Mackley and uh, opened up a four point cushion now. Second game when he was ahead, Fabian Ward. Too many errors. Now that's well played. That's well played.
Going wide. And you can see now that it's uh, getting to uh, the German that uh, he's not able to play with the uh, accuracy that he uh, wishes. Why the uh, sideline there? So he's got to hope for. A bit of luck on uh, his side, not that he hasn't had it, but um, I think he needs a couple of shots to uh, roll his way. It's good for him you know, yeah. clear, and he's uh, four points ahead as uh, we change end for the last time here in the mid-game interval in the uh, third game, 11-7. France. So I think has a four point lead here to possibly uh, put his team up 2 1 in the overall tie. So why? Chose to play it. Clear from uh, Ward. I think I heard uh, two derrière from uh, the French coach. Uh, everything to the back line. But, uh, certainly not everything. Once in a while, make uh, Ward move to the front court. But we also saw in the first game how. Uh, the Germans suddenly um, took over and uh, left Macley frustrated. So, uh, if it's possible for Fabian Ward to stay within striking distance, uh, who knows what might happen? Shot. 
And I think uh, that was a crucial rally there for Anu Mekli. Forty-seven shots, and uh, Jakob Sinberg is uh, ordering the players on court. And uh, I basically like it, but I would like the other umpires to follow suit. And I haven't seen them do the same thing here. You know who's. Uh, that was all or nothing, and there's a challenge. And it's a good challenge. Correction. Yeah. Frenchman, and he should not uh, play too much net because I think uh, one of the keys for uh, Fabian Roth to try and come back is to take these chances where it's more or less 50-50 and then uh, cross his fingers and hope that uh, he's sharp enough. It's about keeping the rallies going. in the uh, backhand defense of uh, this man here. And both players are uh, feeling the match, so to speak. We have passed the armor. Played an hour and three minutes so far. Both players reluctant to uh, get the shuttle. I think they could uh, agree on a two to five minute break now and then come back and play the rest of the third game. Oh, that's way wide, yeah. Misjudgment by uh, Fabian Ward. A little breathing space again for um, Adam McLean as uh, where it looks on uh, the part of the faces that uh, we can see on uh, the Poster and the rest of the uh, German team.
Aye, that's a fantastic shot. Just uh, slice it a little bit. That's a beautiful shot there from uh, Arno Merkley. So it's Paul Paul again in fourth. Actually in the fifth, but one got nullified by uh, the umpire, as he called the left earlier on. Enough back at the moment, Mackley. Oh, yeah, he's outplayed there. Fabian Ward, excellent job by uh, the 21 year old. He's given everything there is. Uh, Fabian Ward got that accustomed to so many uh, tough matches uh, over that short time here. 18, He's going to be a little bit um, annoyed with himself that he let it slip uh, in uh, the second game. And he had a good grip of the match. Missed it. It's been valuable match practice for him, this uh, Thomas Cup campaign and also the Sudirman Cup when he took Cho uh, Tian to uh, three games. He's having difficulties entering any tournaments at all at the moment, uh, being uh, 360 on the uh, world ranking, that was going wide. Inspiration shot again. And now, if you're McLean, it's just about keeping the rally going. Don't take any uh, big chances. Keep it away from the lines, keep it away from the net. And for Ward going for the lines and taking a chance at the net if the possibility opens up. <laughs> There's nothing left in uh, the tank. It hasn't been for a while. But this is a good comeback for Anu Merkli. It's a good match to win. Got out of jail in uh, the second game, and now he's got six match points. And uh, the line just didn't uh, see that uh, shot there, so we'll get Hawkeye to adjudicate. Um, my feeling was that it was uh, on the line, or at least some part of the line. Here it comes. It wasn't, and it's a win for uh, Arno Maxi. He's uh, defeated Fabian Roth in a hard-fought uh, three-game match. Good to see smiles on the faces there. And uh, that means that uh, Nakri has uh, put France ahead all three games, 23 minutes each. 
So an hour and nine minutes, 17, 21, 21, 19, 21, 14. Great comeback by uh, Arnaud Mercle. Those strings are gone, so uh, better cut uh, all of them in order to prevent the uh, frame of the racket from being contorted by uh, the tension left in the uh, other strings. There was the decisive um, shot from uh, Fabian Ward. Youth prevails in uh, this match here. I also think he was a little bit lucky, uh, Arnold McClay, because um, I think it was a matter of one or two rallies in uh, that second game. Next up, when we're back uh, after the uh, interval here, is um, not the uh, first men's double, but the second men's double with uh, the pairings from Germany and France. So after that um, thriller of a men's single, we are now turning our attention to uh, the last two matches of the uh, team tie between France and Germany, and that is uh, both men's doubles match.